Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a database table in SQLite and how to import a data uh, from a CSV file into that database table. So we'll be working off of this data here. So we have the following data. We have some data on customers and that is located in the customers.csv file. And then we have some products and that is located in the products.csv file. And finally, we have uh, data on products that were shipped to customers. So that is in the table called CP and that is located in the customers under, underscore products.csv file. So the first thing you need to do is to create an SQLite database. And to do that, um, in this particular instance, I'm going to create the database in the same folder as the current folder. The database will be a separate file called customers.db. To create that, first you need to open the command prompt. I can open the command prompt by just clicking inside this box on the top here and typing CMD and pressing enter. So now that we are inside the folder through the command prompt, type SQLite. SQLite3 customers.db and that creates a file now you can see this customers.db file that has been saved in the folder that we are working on. We need to now create some tables. So I'm going to first create a table for customers. So the syntax for that is, and I start giving the names of the fields. So if you take a look at all the different fields you have, for customers you have customer number, customer name, status, and city. So I'm going to create those four fields. Of them, customer number, customer name, and city are text fields, and status is an integer field. So you can see how I put the name of the field in double quotes. So here are the four fields that I've defined. Now, beside the name of each field, you have the data type of that field. So customer number is text, status is integer, and so on. And at the end, you close the parenthesis and you enclose a semicolon and then press enter. And that has created this table. You can verify it by just typing dot schema and you'll see the table that you just created. And now let's go ahead and create the other tables as well. And you can see I'm now typing in create table in lowercase. It doesn't have to be uppercase. So here the price field is of the data type real because price will be a decimal number. And that completes the definition of our three tables. And if you just type schema again, dot schema, you will see that it lists the three tables that we just created. The next thing to do is to upload the data into these three tables. And my data, as I mentioned before, is located in these three CSV files. So what I first need to do is I need to go into the CSV mode. And to do that, I type in dot mode CSV. And now going forward, if I try to import from a file, it'll know to treat that file as a CSV file. So I go ahead and try to import data for customers dot import customers dot CSV customers. And you don't have to put a semicolon, press enter. Now the this particular command has imported the customers.csv data into the customers table and you can verify it by typing select star from customers and you can see how there's these five records here. Let's do the same thing with products and customers underscore products 
and I deliberately gave it a different name just so that you can be sure that you don't have to give the same name as a file to the database, to the table as well. So now all three CSV files have been imported into the tables that we have created. Now if you look at the customers table, then you see there's a bunch of data here, C1, C2, all the way to C5. But if you also see there's another line here called CNO, C name, status and city. Now this should not have been here. And the reason it is here is because if you look at the raw data itself, the raw data has uh, field names. So those field names have been imported into the database. So you need to delete this. And the way you delete this is So you say delete from customers where city, the field city equals or contains the string city enclosed by single quotes. So if you do that, then it will delete the first line over here. And now if you do a select star, then you will no longer have the first line. And you can do the same thing for the other two tables as well. And that cleans up the tables. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.